Hey British Vogue, my name is Skepta and this is what's in my bag. I would take out my car keys but it's just showing off in it. It's a man bag, kind of like a bag that I would wear like with a tracksuit, just on the roads, hanging around, whatever, but this is like a bit more fashioned up, you get what I mean? It's like an upper echelon of bags that I used to wear. You know what I actually have? I got a phone. And it, this is not like a second phone, it's not even on, but I have a spare phone just in case I smash my iPhone. Like the mega drop where it drops and it blacks out and then I'm just stuck. So I always carry this phone on me just in case of like the worst, worst case scenario. It's like my save the day phone. I have my cigars, always keep these cigars with me and a cutter. Yeah, when I find a nice 45 minute spare and I'm, I'm, I am I want to chill and relax, have a cigar, I've got to keep them in the bag moisturised. I just bought a new place, so I carry um, my tape measure on me in it everywhere I go. This is a bit of a dad thing to have in my bag, but this is true stories. I actually carry this in my bag all the time. It's that time in my in my life, you know, it's, 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 it's a big man thing. Those who got houses and that and always finding stuff they want to put in their crib, they know what I'm talking about. This is something I can't, I can never leave the house without. Like if I left the house without this, I could die that day. It's my Ventolin inhaler. Yeah, I want to say to everybody out there who has asthma, I feel your pain. Oh yeah, obviously, obviously I got, you get me, Sound of the Brave. You can see like a kind of day in the life going on, you know what I'm saying? Once I get some cool time, I um, have a cigar, but then you definitely need to balance the smell. Because the cigar smell is actually kind of nice. It's an acquired taste. But um, yeah, it's good to balance it with uh, some nice, fresh, zesty fragrance. I always keep toothpicks on me. You see when you, someone's talking to you yeah, and they've got food in their teeth, yeah, how do you stop the conversation and say, You've got kale in your teeth. Man's trying to put you on the vegan wave, you understand? Like, he's trying to talk to you about good food and that, and he's got kale in his teeth. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit of a sad moment. So, yeah, man, I keep, um, keep some toothpicks on me. My bag's empty and now all i got left is car keys in here, but bank card, driving license. Oh, last but not, this, this, you, <laughs> this is not planned, but look, I keep a parking ticket in my bag all the time because of obvious reasons. Yeah, I just park really badly and I park anywhere. And I, and I say to myself when I come out in the daytime that when I'm parking, it's gonna cost me 55 pounds. But um, yeah, that's what's in my bag. I'm looking kind of like a mad table, isn't it? I live a very fast life. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm always, I don't wanna get caught like slipping. It's like my survival pack. That's what it is, really. I didn't really look at it in that way before. So that British Vogue was... <clears throat> Boop. So that British Vogue was what was in my bag, Skepta, or I better know. <laughs>